Viewers, welcome to Creative Alice, a place where creativity meets inspiration. We are thrilled to have you here, and we cannot wait to share our latest video with you. In this video, we will guide you through the process of creating a corporate paper press logo style in Adobe Photoshop. This tutorial is perfect for anyone who wants to elevate their branding game and create a unique and professional logo. We also have some great news to share with you. We are providing a free download of this corporate paper press logo mock-up on our website, creativealice.com. You can find the link to the download in the video description and here on the video screen. Before beginning, I'd like to thank you for watching and subscribing to our channel. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed, I request that you click the subscribe button located in the bottom right corner of the video and also click on the bell icon to guarantee that you receive notifications for all of the fantastic new content from Creative Alice. So get ready to unleash your creativity and let's get started. In the layers panel, you can see that there are multiple groups and layers and some of these are smart object layers. This layer is for the light shade deployed from the top right to the logo area. This blue smart object layer which is not visible, is the one we will work with to incorporate our logo. We will proceed with this further on how to do that. The next is a group of layers with effects that make the logo look in a paper press style. With effects, we can change the colors of the logo to our choice from gray to any other solid or gradient colors, or we can use the logo's original colors to look in a paper press style, as you have looked at the logos in the intro. I will let you know that later in the video. So, double click this smart eject layer that says, Your design goes here, and it opens in its tabbed window in Photoshop. Here, you can see that the logo is in its original flat style with original colors. What we have to do is just replace this design with another logo. For this purpose, I have selected a bunch of logos for you to see how they look in a real time corporate paper press style. Some of the logos were made for my clients, and these photorealistic mockups helped them select a logo after they looked at the real-time previews of the logos. The logos are in vector format and created in Adobe Illustrator. Now, what you have to do is select and copy a logo from Adobe Illustrator and paste it in Adobe Photoshop using Control or Command C for copy and Control or Command V for paste. Scale the logo and adjust so it cannot touch the borders of the canvas. Do not worry. It can be edited later after checking the initial results on actual mockup. Hide the layer that says, replace this, so you only have your new logo visible. Once you're done with the adjustment, save the tab work using File, Save, or Control Command S. Now, close the tab window, and as you can see, that logo appears in a stylish paper press look in a dark shade of gray color. You can export it to JPEG or PNG to send to your clients and wow them, as it is really looking awesome. You can change the placement or add another logo by double clicking this smart object layer again. Now, we are going to try each of the logos and see how stunning they look in a paper press style. I will also be telling you how you can get the logo's original colors in the mockup or change the colors to any other solid or gradient one. Using the same process, copy and paste the logo from Illustrator to Photoshop. And you can see, it turns into an awesome looking style. To retain the logo's original colors, in the Layers panel, click the arrow in front of the Effects group and the layers it contains are now visible to you. Here, check that the top layer contains two blending effects. Disable the color overlay effect by clicking on the eye icon before the text, and notice that the logo in the mockup eventually turns to its original colors. By enabling the eye icon, you can get it back to the gray color of the mockup. And by double clicking the color overlay effect, you should have its Blending Options panel appears. See, I am double clicking on it, but it is not displaying Blending Options. It's because the Effects group is locked 
and you are unable to change any of the layer options under the effects group. To unlock, simply click on the lock icon to unlock the group. And yes, now you have blending options on the screen. Here, you can select any color for your logo without having the paper pressed effect removed. It still has a paper pressed effect and of course, it looks awesome. Trying different colors for you to have a look at. Red or green. Even by moving a mouse pointer simply outside the blending options panel, you can select any color from the canvas as well. It looks cool in purple too, so whatever color you want, you can get it right here. Undoing it using Control Command Z to move back to its original mock up state. I will also tell you how the previous logos we have added look in their own colors. To do this, Simply double click the Smart Eject layer and just enable the eye icon beside the logo layer to be visible and hide the other one. Save, close the tab window and disable the color overlay effect. You can check how it looks and change its colors to any other colors using color overlay effects options. Double click the Smart Eject layer to change the logo. Hide the current logo and make the bottom layer logo of Creative Alice visible to see how it looks in its original colors and paper press style. And it is really looking awesome. Undoing it using Control Command Z. Now, we have four logos left to try in the paper press mock up style. We'll look at them in both gray shade and their original colors. This simply is a great way to see what types of logos look great in this style and what colors look more stunning. As the process remains the same, I am speeding up the video a bit to just get you a look at them in this beautiful style. I hope you enjoyed the video a lot. Do not forget to share your thoughts via the comments section. And of course, you're going to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Do not miss to click or tap the bell icon to make sure that you will be the first to receive the new video from the Creative Alice channel. Also, it is worth mentioning here that we have a great website full of professional graphic design resources available for free download. That includes free vectors, logo designs, icons, PSD mockups, backgrounds, animations, and much more including tips and tutorials for Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. So I am sure that you do not gonna miss to visiting the website creativealice.com. Till the next video comes, take care and have a great time.